Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to my channel. My name is Piper. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, so this is my channel here on YouTube. Welcome to Prophecy. This is your psychic read for the month of July. Um, there will be an extension to this read if you scroll down below um, to the description box and click on the link that's provided. It'll take you to the extended read. We'll have some extra goodies in there for you. Uh, so for this read here on YouTube, I'm going to channel a message from you from Spirit. And then um, I'm going to pull two cards from the Silver Witchcraft Tarot. And um, also some cards from the bottom. And we'll talk about what's going on in July, okay? In the extended read, we're going to use some cards from the top of this deck for possibilities. And we're also going to take um, some oracle cards. One oracle card for love, an oracle card for work and money. And um, one card for purposeful meaning from spirit. That's your soul work and your general energy and what you're being advised to work on for the month of July. All right, so let's go. Let's see what's going on here for you guys. It's hot. And you feel a little bit run down. Because things aren't the way they used to be, Cancer. Things aren't moving along quickly anymore. Things are never ending or stuck. It's about trying to figure out how to move on, how to reboot your life from static to moving along again. But it's beyond your reach at this time, or you feel like you don't have the tools to manifest anymore or right now. Some of you are moving along the lines of a relationship that has no boundaries anymore, that seems to have become open-minded, and that challenges you in that it makes you feel less than to be regarded as person that isn't deserving of one's full focus. You feel like the options that have been given to a certain person should be given to you. However, you are somehow not able to manifest that for yourself. It's your belief systems. There's a strong shift in your environment and it's, it's becoming more hectic and more, there's more responsibility there for you, but you don't feel it's necessary and you don't feel it's right. There's too many people involved And you feel weighed down by the situation. And it's not changing. Okay, Cancer, whoa. Okay, so, um, <laughs> um, all right. So many of you in the month of July are experiencing some odd feelings because, so um, 
This could be any kind of relationship, you guys. This could be a love relationship. This could be a, a job or a partnership or something. Something's being opened up, but it's not as if it enables things to move onward. It seems like it's more along the lines of weighing something down until it can't move. Maybe you feel constricted in that maybe the people around you have taken their focus off of you and allowed many more people into the, the group or the relationship or the partnership. Um, and you feel that it's not conducive to forward movement. You feel it's just complicating things somehow is what I'm getting. Yeah, um, and so it appears there's also, I keep hearing it's a never ending story. And, and so maybe this is something that happens repeatedly throughout your life cycle. Like maybe you've seen something like this before and you know how this goes. Yeah, and I, so, I feel honestly like you guys are almost like lamenting, like there's always other people, it's never just me. Why am I never just the one in whatever situation this is, Cancer? Cancer, please, for the month of July. I'm gonna go get that, sorry. Hold, please. <laughs> Two of Wands partnerships. Planning for the future. Oh, you got a couple more. All right, these are in the reverse. Okay. So, Cancer. Page of Wands. Trying to divine what the future is going to hold, planning, wondering if someone's going to hold up their end of the bargain. Um, I feel like you're asking the universe, what is to become of this? What is to become of this? What is to become of this? The Page of Wands in the reverse. There's no consideration. There's no guidelines, no new ideas, or something that you thought might have been a good idea or that was going to, something that you thought was gonna be a good idea somehow has not worked out. This could be insecurity as well. The page of wands is unable to consider something unable to take action. I also feel like the Page of Wands is a little bit frenetic. Um, it is actually, it's about past ideas. So this is about trying to plan for your future because past ideas haven't worked out and feeling insecure because of that. You have the sun in the reverse. The sun in the reverse is about, they're saying that you, some of you lived with this on and off, I keep getting it, on and off throughout your life. Uh, the sun in the reverse is about placing more importance on the timing of things. Like, how can I enjoy my life while this is going on? You know, how can I enjoy the sun? When I feel this way. There's something that you're trying to do, Cancer. There's something that you, that you want to make happen because I see you asking. I see you asking the universe. You're insecure about the timing of things.
Some of you, some of you needed someone to help you. Someone, again, I said you're asking for help or hold, you're holding out your hand. You're trying to divine the future of a partnership or an idea. And this person is unfortunately too busy to help out at this time. Some of you are being asked to prepare as well. Um, I see preparation, planning, but there's insecurity about the timing. Like, how am I going to make this happen? How am I going to figure this out? Something's ruining your plans as well. So I'm taking some cards from the top of the deck. Those are for the extended read. Those are going to be for your possibilities for July. Um, and um, I took some cards for the bottom of the deck, which I'm going to talk about right now. So we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Someone comes out with something. The jig is up. You have to admit something either to yourself or someone's going to admit something to you. Admitting to, ooh, someone gets caught. Um, the King of Swords in the reverse cancer is an unfair or very, very cold person who has judged you harshly. The King of Swords, possible air sign. Yeah, this is somebody, somebody's, somebody might admit that Wow, the King of Swords is unfair, and this is a jerk. So, and you also have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, family BS. So I feel like someone, wow, someone is going to possibly admit to you, or you're going to admit to them. I feel like something, something that was being hidden comes out and that it's because someone treated you unfairly or judged you very harshly because at the time there was some either family BS or within this can also be like company BS um, within a group within a very the ten of pentacles right side up is about solid grounded relationships marriages families can be institutions as well um, and can have to do with money. I feel like you were on your way somewhere, but you got in, you're being snatched back into a world of disillusion. Like pain and disillusionment is what I'm getting. And I feel like, oh, the cat's awake. Sorry. Here we go. <laughs> I feel like someone's saying to you, uh, you know, we have, you know, with someone who's hiding something, it's going to come out. It's unfair and it's going to cause upheaval. For some of you, this, uh-oh, is about family. Hey, no. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> some, for some of you, Cancers, this is about family obligations. You're being loaded down with family obligations in the month of July, and it's, it's interfering with your plans. It's interfering with your moving forward. There's too many people in the mix, and it's causing... You may be unable to make things happen for yourself. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Join me for the extended reading. Click on the link below and I'll see you on Vimeo. Thanks. See you next month.